cyclodextrins are available as colourless powder. At first glance, they resemble powdered sugar. Cyclodextrins are manufactured from starch. This starch is naturally abundant in many plants, such as corn or potatoes. On a very basic level, starch molecules can be visualised as spirals. They consist of multiple glucose molecules bonded together. These starch spirals can be split by different enzymes. As natural catalysts for metabolic reactions, enzymes are abundant in every living cell. Here you can see a specific enzyme. Its active site envelops the end of the starch spiral. The enzyme cuts an entire coil from the spiral. It then binds the two ends together. This creates a ring made of seven glucose units, beta cyclodextrin. With other types of enzymes, it is also possible to form two further cyclodextrins, alpha cyclodextrin with six glucose units and gamma cyclodextrin with eight glucose units. The more glucose units are bound together, the greater the diameter. The three variants are produced by Wacker in a biotech biotransformation process. From now on, we're going to focus on beta cyclodextrin. Now we can take a closer look at the molecules. We will explore their structure and deduce their material properties. The cyclic structure is the first thing you notice in the ball and stick model. When you look closer, you can make out seven identical building blocks. This is alpha-D-glucose. The starch spiral itself is constructed out of this building block. It's easy to see that the molecule is cyclic when you look at it from above. The glycosidic bonds and the numerous CH groups making the interior of the ring more lipophilic, which is represented by the yellow area. At the upper and lower edges of the molecule, the hydroxy groups are located which makes the blue area hydrophilic. Cyclodextrins can therefore interact with other hydrophilic and lipophilic groups. They can also enclose other molecules in their cavity. It is this combination of properties that makes cyclodextrins so versatile. VACA. Creating tomorrow's solutions.